What up, Blender? What up, family? Here I am again, man. Today, we're doing some backyard renovations. We got a whole lot of projects we're gonna do this backyard. So you guys can see what like the straw is. All the back in the woods. This is all our property. So, we're gonna make some things happen back here. Our little private oasis. So first, uh, what I'm doing is making a fire pit. Step down with seating area. Have a wall in the back of the fire pit. I'll show you what I got done so far. But so far, I've got it dug out already. I've got the fire pit there. And I'm digging down. See the white markers? I'm gonna mark, curve it around to the back. See it dug down right there, lip on it. Now this side is higher than this side, so I'm throwing extra dirt over here to raise it back up. Walk around, of course, see the other side where it's dug out at, and then see the white, the yellow paint markers where it's gonna curve around, digging all that out. Of course, like I said, the fire pit's gonna have a wall on the back of it. It's gonna come around, but see, I said the, this side over here is higher so I'm taking dirt, I'm taking, dirt that I'm taking out and put it on this side over here to level it back up. Gonna have a uh, flagstone up in there or some pavers for the, where the chairs go, but then the rest of the rest of them have flagstone and little rocks we use that we get from back there. Miss Jan she sheds going. But I'm gonna get some, uh, some digging going, get some more cleaned out and kind of show you What's gonna look like? Rock with me, family. All right, family. I've been working, been working. In case I didn't show you before, but these bricks right here are gonna be for the back wall of the fire pit. But let's go, let me show you what I got done. Shape of it now. Oh, got the shape of it now. Show you what I got. Of course, dug out. See, I got the extra dirt right there to make it higher. This side's higher, so Got to dig this side out. You see the, the little line I got? Got to dig out. Yeah. She coming to give. Extra dirt I'm using to fill in and put back there in Miss G and she shit area. But I'm getting her done. Getting her done. That's it. It's going to be pretty. Like I say, this part we're walking into now will be the seating area. Got to curve that part around over there. We're gonna have um, paving rocks down. We're thinking paving rocks for where the chairs go. Then the flagstone rocks around the fire pit. We're gonna have rocks like uh, along the wall there where it drops down. We we'll build that side up higher. We're gonna put rocks up against there, like a little wall. You know, we're in the mountains. A little mountain, a little, little cliff. So, but she's coming together. So, and what we were thinking also, we're gonna bring the side, we're gonna bring the side straight down. Each side, instead of curving it around, we're gonna bring each side straight down and then just make a flat back. Cause this part, this part back here, we wanna keep it open to walk through. But these trees right here, it's just grass, weeds, whatever. I'm cutting all that down. So our privacy fence runs along here. I'm cutting that back a little bit. More space to walk behind. But yeah. What up, families? Another day back at it again. Show you what I got done. Uh, got the, I got it all set up, formed out. Had to move some dirt around to fill in some uh, where the rain runs. Had to fill in some of the spots so the rain would flow a different way. Make another trench for that to go back into the, the wood, the wooded area back there, but I'll show you what we got done. I got it all dug out. See the dirt I got still packed down. We got dirt in these little where the water runs from when it rains. But I got it all kind of shadowy, so can't see part of it. Got a line, got it marked, got it marked and everything. Gonna have concrete on the back walls right here, all around the, on the back walls. Gonna fill this spot up with stone. 
and then do concrete and then put some uh, pavers in there you got to get this a little more even before I put the dirt in this side is a little bit high than that side but you can see like let's say the wall right here we're gonna put concrete on just along the wall this side the lords had to add dirt I went to home to pot and bought some boards I'm gonna put some boards down so when I so when I smash it down it doesn't push out and I gotta form it up so I can put the concrete in there but yeah we're moving right along let me get some of this done and I'll show you what we got to push some of this dirt down all right family got the uh most of the dirt packed down miss Jen's out there say hi you say hi say hi yeah I got most of the dirt packed down now I got out here a saw, the wood pieces I need, some some rebar, my hammer. I got them like so I'm gonna show you. I'll put the wood up against the edges. I got some uh, other wood in, in, in the inside for the curved pieces. Get my wood down so I can get the dirt, all the rest of the dirt filled on the sides. I gotta get this leveled out up here. I'm gonna take these. Uh, I'm gonna take these right here. I'm gonna dig down the ground so they're level and then put rock over top over top of them. So you won't see those. They'll be down the ground just a little bit, and then rock over top so the water just runs that way and you won't see the, the black pieces. Got a lot of work to do. I'm gonna get these wood pieces cut. So I can get this formed up. But oh, she's coming together. She's coming together. Let me go, go and get some starters. And see actually I was next. All right, family, got the one board set. I got two more boards put down. See, I got the board set up there. Got it leveled out. Got the rebar in there holding it. Got to do that side and that side. Got some eight foot pieces right there. Set them down, make sure the ground is level. I gotta dig it out and make sure it's level. Then put it up there on these sides. I'm gonna have to mark the boards and then cut them. So they go at the angles I want to keep it that height. I'm going to do that on this side over here as well because that side is a little lower. Again, packing the dirt down with the stamp. Where the stamper at? Stamper's right there. Yeah. And Miss Jen is right there. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> she's still. <laughs> See, I just, I'm just got all kind of tools out here and the bricks for the back of the fire pit for the back part of it. The wood, levelers, the big leveler. Another saw, wool barrel, Jen and, and Bella Pearl was sitting out in the sun out there, sunbathing, yeah. But there's a the fire pit. Like I said, it's gonna be a seating area. Seating area right here, putting stone down, then putting the pavers and the flagstone down, fill it all in. And I gotta come up with an idea for the back part of it. Still working on that. Get these sides done and show you that what I'm done with it. See you in a minute. Bella, sit. Hey, there's Bella, Miss Jen. All right, I got the second board set, got the rebar holding it. And what I gotta do now, slope it up, then I mark a line on this side, and then put the boards to cut this one and cut the and then cut the other board the same length, same way, and then put it on that side over there. So, you can see she's coming together. And then like I said, those pieces up there, the side pieces, the rounded pieces, I got boards inside for those, but she's coming together. And like I say, the floor, flagstone, or pavers and flagstone. Well, we actually have what Miss Jen is doing now, let me walk back here and show you what she's doing. This is where Miss Jen's she shed is going. Hi. Hi. Her she shed. See all these rocks because we're living in the Nova fit. Hey. <laughs> all these rocks back here. Miss Jen has to pick all these rocks up before she can come in tonight. What? Yeah, that's a lot of rocks. She's going to be here all night. <laughs> 
Yeah, this is all our backyard. We got we got so much backyard to play yeah. with and do things with. Deer prints all yeah, right, there's all down through there. Deer tracks over here. Deer's running through here. But over here, like I said, the, the fire pit's going right here, of course. And then, let me walk over here and show what else we're doing. Like right in this area right here, kind of this area right here, I'm going to use some of those stones she's picking up right now. I don't know if I'm going to circle or square. And put the put the grill sitting right here. Of course, the grill's on the patio now. All the work equipment and stuff, all the stuff I'm using to get that done. But I have the grill sitting right here. So I'm going to dig this out. Use those stone, stone cement them in. And then have a, a little walkway from the patio to the fire pit and then a little walkway from the from the grill to the fire pit so we got a lot of things coming man it's gonna be nice out here party time out here in the chaos backyard yeah get the other side done this this get this side done over here then i can start packing this dirt building it up like that one after i get this flattened out over here and, and get the angle i want then measure and then cut. So I'm gonna get that done and be right back with you. All right, got my board measured. Got my saw. So I got the line drawn, the angle this cut. Um, then I have to put the other board up against this one. Draw a line for that one so it's gonna be the same size. Like I say, so I'm gonna cut this get the other one done and then I'll get them both set down and show you what we got going I'm not just showing each step because if I'm doing digging the dirt out cutting the board putting the stakes in but you're seeing step by step what I'm doing to get this masterpiece done and like I said the next project after this is the fire is a barbecue grill over in that area Miss Jen sitting down now. She's uh, she's gonna be out here for a while. She gotta get them rocks up. She ain't halfway done yet. So we'll catch you out in a minute. All right, family. Got the boards up. Now I just have to fill that side in. Fill that side in over there. Get level it out. Get it angled up like that side over there. How this one? Now it angles up. Goes around. See that side, the board's a little walk, walk, I mean a little crooked, but I got the, you know, I, I know what it's supposed to be like, it's, as long as it flows evenly. So take this dirt, fill it back in, angle it up. You gotta put all my, my, my tools and stuff away, got everything out. That's it right there. It's gonna be nice when it comes together. But that's it for the night, man. I got I got my boy work done. Do the dirt work tomorrow. Get the dirt filled in up there. Since it's dried out, it's not as sticky right now. What up, family? Another day back at it, man. So today I'm just taking the dirt and leveling things out. Got that side started, putting dirt down. Get this front part done, fill this in, get this all leveled out. That side's done, filling that side in. Fill this front part in. Then I have to go buy some more rebar for my stakes as far as to look at, look who's back there just getting a, getting a, getting a groove on. You're behind trees. Back there dancing behind trees. Picking up rocks. She ain't done with the rocks yet. But I have to go, um, once I get this done, go buy more rebar to pull the wood pieces out some. So when I lay my concrete in between to make the wall, it's all set. Got the ground pretty much like I want it. Got some stone over there. The stone's gonna go in the bottom of it. 
but here it is it's coming together so I gotta level my back part out back and level this part out back here as well I'm gonna finish the top up first to get that done this is almost I gotta wet it down more get, make it make sure it's solid gotta fill this little solid section in right here and then back here and, and up there all right family now I got the board's moved out the, the stakes put in so I can do the concrete tomorrow but I'm gonna show you something looks looks pretty freaking weird follow me for a minute follow me for a minute okay if you stand right here the boards look like they're off like this one is down farther than that one okay let's go back this way and now look it looks straight it looks straight across now and look at the sky it's beautiful outside but it's crazy how it looks this side looks make it look makes it look more straight then you walk back over here and it looks uneven but I measured it I did measure it so it is the same length between from uh, this board up here same length, length down but there she is she's formed up hopefully I'm pour the concrete tomorrow and then once I pour the con I pour the concrete it'll sit for a day or a few hours anyway before I take the boards off and then the, the stone goes in on the floor then concrete and pavers and flagstones whatever we're gonna do for the floor but that's it for the day man she's all got pretty much the ground the dirt where I want it, now it has to rain or I have to water it with the hose to get it to flatten out. And then the back sides back there where I put dirt. But there she is. Alright fam, it's a new day. Got my forms all set up. You're going to be adding concrete today. The concrete right here with some sand. Add sand to the concrete. Also going to add a little stone to the concrete to make it a little stronger. So I'm gonna mix it up in the wheelbarrow here. And then I'm gonna show you, and then I'm gonna show you um, how we gonna lay this down. Yeah. So let me get this concrete mixed up. I'm gonna lay some down. Give me a minute. All right. I got my concrete in there, got my sand in there. Put some extra rocks in there. And I got my drill, my bit on there to get it all mixed up. What up family? It's another day, and I got the concrete done. One, two, three. I got three boards off. Three more boards to do. Just finish the rest of the concrete today. Let me show you what I got. Concrete around. Got to some fill ins. I think I just laid this for this part today. So what I'm gonna do? I bought a concrete blade, bought some rough padding for my drill. I'm gonna cut it all even. The edges cut the edges even. Of course, the dirt all leveled out and everything. I'm gonna rough it up like the side of a mountain. So that's that part. So, that's the next step. We're taking the boards off of there. Getting the edges all Getting it all straight lined up. Had to do a couple fill-ins. Get it all dry. I put some rock in there, some stones in there from the ground back there that Miss Jenny picked up. And she still ain't got all them rocks up yet. We're gonna get to that though. But put some rocks in the side. I'm gonna grind it all down. And then I'm gonna, like I say. Bought some pads to rough it up a little bit, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna buy some uh some concrete acid stain, and I'm gonna stain it. Don't know what color yet. But I'm gonna stain it. Of course, after I stain it, I 
and get that part done the rock goes in and start the floor but there we go she's coming together she's coming together and I still have to figure out how I'm gonna do the back part the back part I don't know if I'm gonna square it what I'm gonna do with the back part is just leave it open and put uh, maybe flagstone back there all the way to the tree line like I said I'm gonna cut that one two three I'm gonna cut those trees down I'm gonna cut that one down as well cut that one down that one down and those two right there cut all them uh, the, the bushes the brush back so I still gotta figure the back part out but we getting it though take those boards off tomorrow and then finish the, the concrete work that'll probably take me a couple days to do that and then I'll put the stone in and we'll start with the floor here we are again another new day and today I took the forms off got that all got those forms off and that's it right there so today got my saw out handheld saw with a concrete blade what I'm doing is I'm edging the concrete off cutting it straight see on this side I have to cut this straight this side over here do a little bit of work on not too bad since I didn't put forms on the inside and now just forms on the outside I have to cut the concrete down which is no big deal Make sure you all got your safety glasses on. We're going power tools. Don't want nobody getting hurt. So, got the concrete cut. You can see right there she's cut now I gotta chip the concrete I just cut I gotta break that off get out of there and see how straight we got see how smooth we got it because anyway grass is gonna go up against it so you if it's any scrawny lines it ain't it won't be too bad but you won't see the imperfections so let me get this chipped off show you how it looks all right got to cut on now got to cut on now Got to finish the, the, the end piece, smooth that out, get, the, get those all smooth and straight like that. And then we get to get the rounded pieces. So that's the project for the day. We got these rounded pieces right here, round this off, smooth, get that all nice and pretty and straight. This one won't be, this side won't be that hard at all. But that's what we're doing for the day. Family, what up? It's been a couple of days, uh, rain a couple of days, so I ain't been out here, but I've been out here today, got a lot done. So I got the shape I want. And so now some finishing touches before I put the stone down. But I have these pavers right here. I have these pavers and I have some more in the garage and I bought the, I bought some uh, paver, paver sand, but we're gonna uh, put concrete acid stain on there. So we're gonna change the color of it. But I got the shape I want. You got my tiller, tiller in there getting the, get it all dug up. So got that done. Now I gotta get, I got my uh, concrete grinder right there. Gotta get some, do some more trimming and shaping. Get a little, little more level on, on, a, on, a, on a sitting area in there, of course. But I got the shape I want. She's coming in looking pretty good, looking pretty good. So I'm gonna show you what we got today. I said, got the concrete done, got the shape I want. Got the back kind of a little arc, not square it off. So back here, which dug out right there, I'm gonna put concrete on both sides so the dirt, the dirt doesn't fall in. I'm gonna put rocks in there. It's gonna be all, all papers in here. It's gonna be all papers in here and then it's gonna be rocks. So therefore, let me that side. When it rains, the water will flow in there 
it won't just stay on top of the seating area up here i cut some boards to act as the wall I got all the tool trusty tools out just just a work in progress put it up against here like 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 that there there like that so and then put some stakes down to hold it up keep the form shape the arc of it so and then once all that's done i can get the star working on the inside i also got to get my concrete done all i'm gonna get it roughed up a little bit look like side of a mountain kind of just make it look pretty because like i say once the, at the end of it we're gonna ask to stain all of it a certain color. Me and Jean have to pick the color we want. And once we decide that, we'll let you know. But I'm gonna get this part done, show you the finished product. Yeah. What up, family? Back at it again, man. I'll show you what I got done. Um, did some trimming along the, the walls that I poured with concrete. Filled the sides in with concrete so the, uh, when it rains, the, the the ground doesn't like cave in or dirt doesn't get into what the, the piece I dug out that I'm putting the rocks in. So that little the bag right there, I, I put a drain, put a drain out so this bit, when it rains, it fills up with water, it'll drain out. Got a drain going down there. I dug that and got that put drain put in concrete there concrete on this side so like I said the dirt doesn't go in when it rains and also I'm digging out around the fire pit and I'm gonna put more stone put stone around this been working a little bit gonna dig that out the rest of the way the stone goes in down there get the rest of my walls uh, Sand down a little bit, get those ready to go, and then we're gonna put the papers in. I gotta fit those first to get my measurements, so I can cut it, so I can cut the cut the papers, so it goes in, around. Then on the back side, put them down there, so I can cut them, cut them, cut those. So it keeps that, that rounded edge and they're not straight across keeps that rounded curve on there on that back side but got a little bit to go it's coming along though i'm not gonna rush it when i'm here another day we are here got a little few more things done that i didn't show so i'll tell you what i did where the bricks were on the fire pit i took the bricks off of course and around here is going to have a uh, rock in here and it's drained down, put a little drainage line right here so the water runs out into the back part, put the rocks in there. Also made a drain, got a drain on this end, this, this comes out here, comes back here to where those rocks are, it goes back to drain it so the water doesn't sit in there. So today, I'm gonna get this this back back wall here, get it leveled out a little more, get that all taken care of, and then have to go to the Home Depot to get more pavers and more sand. So when we start the floor, I got enough sand and the pavers to put down. But for now, let's just get doing some touch-up work around that back wall right there. Then, like I said, put the bricks back in here, get my pavers down, and then do a little touch-up work on the sides and everything, and get it going. So she's coming along, it's taking a longer than I thought. The weather and working but i'm here we ain't going nowhere for no, no time soon so it's coming together it's gonna be real pretty so i'm gonna get some of that back wall done and show you what i got done with that all right back at it again it's been a few days uh weather and then my sister and niece came down so it's a great weekend for that 
but today I laid the bricks down, got them all cut and everything, how they're supposed to be, I pulled them all up. So you can just kind of see like the lines, the bricks were. that down and then put the sand on top and then put the bricks back down so that's the next step so I'm gonna lay, lay all this down and probably today it's a little bit windy today so I'll probably just lay this down and I won't put the sand I'm just saying it going all over the place so get that done then I'll show you that finished step next Back at it again. Well, today I got the this queen down, it's like grad and seed sealer. I bought some flowers. I'm putting the sand in today. Then I'm putting my papers in. Show sure we got going on. Got a few bags of sand open already. Got some. Got to level it out. See the flowers we got back there. We're putting in the ground in the back side of the pit. There's the sand getting that leveled out. And we're gonna see how this turns out. So I can get my papers down and get her going. Get the rest of my sand down, get it leveled out. Use my tamper to smash it, pack it, compact it. Then start putting my papers in. But that's it. We're making progress. She's coming together. So again, once you get that done, I'll show you that before I put the papers down. See ya in a minute or a day or so, whatever. It's just, it's taking me longer than I thought because of the weather and then work schedule, but I'm getting it done. Hope everybody's had a great year thus far. Things are going well for everybody. Nobody's got that COVID. Nobody's getting it, got it. Been sick from it, died from it. I know a few people have and that's it's sad, but the world we live in right now, but I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my sand done. See y'all uh, again today, tomorrow, sometime. Yeah. Alright, got the sand down. And I gotta mix it with water, then use my tamper and hammer it down. Hammer it down. Then we can start laying the papers. Okay, I missed the sand for about two to three minutes. And that was Miss Jen Shadow. She was getting up out of the chair. She don't be in the video. <laughs> but I missed it for about two to three minutes. And see, it's all the same pretty great color now. Get my trusty tamper. Where's she at? Wait, wait, where's she, where's she, where's she, where's she, where's she where the tamper at? Oh, right here. Alright, here we go. Got my trusty tamper. Now I'm gonna get in there and Tamper it down. So we throw a land brick. Well, there it is. It's she's tampered down. She all gray tampered down now. So now it's time to start laying the papers. See how much I can get done before it gets dark. Hopefully, I can get most of it done, if not all of it. Because they want to get the papers down, put sand on top of the papers, and lock them in. And I have to get a piece for the back to lock the back. But I'll show you what I get when I get that. But there we are right there. Tamper it down. So so land the papers. Get my trusty leveler. So make sure the papers are level. And we'll go from there. See y'all next segment. Yeah. Another day of working on the fire pit. Well, show you what I got done. I got the floor the papers laid. I got some stone around the fire pit, some stone in the back. Put the flowers in first, put stone in the back. I gotta put a little more sand down around the, around the bricks on the fire pit. Then fill it in with, with sand down, then put bricks around the fire pit. Let me show you what I got. Dun, 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 dun. Then I gotta put my borders up around back. Yo, yo, put my borders up to lock the back in. Let me show you what I got. There she is. 
Got all my trusty tools I have been working. There's the borders that go around back. Put those down and nail them in the ground. And there's the fire pit. There's the floor of it. So I gotta fill it all in with stone. Give me stone in between the rocks. Stone fill all the way up to the top. Well, to the top of the rocks. I'll put the flowers in first. Then fill out, fill that in with stone. Then I gotta put, of course, put the back of the the back of the fire pit on. The rest of the bricks on the fire pit. But there she is, family. Coming together. Coming together. So I'm gonna get the borders laid for the back to lock the back bricks in so nothing moves. Put the rock in, put the, well, use the sand first, put the rock in around the fire pit. The flowers in, put the rest of that in with stone. And then to choose the color that we're gonna stain it with, the, the concrete acid stain. Gotta choose the color. We pretty much know what color we want. Come be a surprise. I won't tell you just yet. But I'm gonna get the uh, the borders on to lock the back the back bricks in, stone around, flowers in. We're gonna get her done. She's coming together. I've been waking. I've been waking. It's been a, it's been some weeks. Uh, maybe about a month and a half right now. It's because of the weather and working long hours. But there she is. Looking good. Looking good. And I'm back again. We got the uh, flowers in. Got the rocks in around the fire pit. Got the paper uh, holders in. I haven't put the rocks in in the back and I haven't put the, the other uh, stones on the fire pit. But I'm loving the way it looks. Check it out. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty. And one look at a bird back there eating right there on the. You see him over there eating? Yeah. And we got a cardinal somewhere. The cardinal and the cardinals of it's a male and a female cardinal. But back to the fire pit. Gotta put my rebar out. That was my center point, centerpiece. It looks pretty nice. Let's say I gotta fill it in, fill this in with rock back here. Get the flowers in. And then we will stain this. Get a concrete acid stain. Get a little touch-ups on the walls. But there she is. Gonna have some tiki lamps in it. Best of my rocks over there. I gotta put that in. Then I got, of course, I gotta still gotta put the um, take the the sand, the paper sand, put it over the top, brush it in there, get it filling all the cracks, spray it down, so it'll lock it all together, so nothing to move. Got the rocks in there around the fire pit. Use my tamper, stamp those, push those down in there. Yeah, she's pretty. She's pretty. So once it's the next part done, we'll show you that. The rocks in there, the rocks on the fire pit. Then get my tiki lamps. You get the acid stain for this. I'm gonna color it and do the final reveal. Hope everybody's having a blessed day and enjoying time with family and friends and being positive. Love y'all, man. See y'all. We do the final reveal or the next part with the stones, the rocks, all that good stuff. See you next time. See you next cut. Yeah. All right, family. Got the pavers laid. Got the rocks in there. The tiki lamps in. The flowers are in the ground. All I have to do now, I got to put the, uh, the paver of sand on top of the rocks, filling all the cracks, lock everything together so. Bugs don't get in between there. Grass hopefully doesn't come up between. Just locks it all in. I'm going to show you what we got. And then this will be the end of this video. And stay tuned for the next video for the reveal of it. With the back of the fire pit wall on. 
fire pit lit, Tiki's lamp, Tiki lamps lit, color on, the final re reveal. But here's what it looks like. Again, the fire pit wall, the back wall is not all the way on. The color's not on, it's not cleaned up right now. But this is the finished product before it's the last steps. I'll check it out. Dun, 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 dun. There it is. She pretty. Dug this all out by hand. Poured the concrete. We did it all ourselves. That's it. We went to um we went to Home Depot and Lowe's today and found the color we wanted. So once the color's on there, we got a uh, a wet look sealer to put on top of it. But that's it. I put my sand down now, lock all my papers in. Got all the joints filled in, so looks all good. Well, that's it fam. There's a the fire pit we I built and this gin helped me a little bit, you know, a little bit. But the video I'll show on the reveal, I'll just talk about things I should have done different. There's a few things I should have done different, but for the most part, I like how it came out. Haven't seen one like it, one to be different, and it is. But that's what we got, fam. Hope y'all enjoyed. Anybody want to hire me? I'm available to, make some, to build somebody's fire pit. What y'all want, I got you. Hope you like it. Like I said, the reveal. We're going to have it lit. Tiki lamps going. The color will be on there. Everything will be locked in. Be cleaned up. Washed down. Stained. Looking pretty. See y'all next video, man. Love y'all. Peace.